Hey guys, it's finished project Friday and I have two things. I hurt my hand last week and um, not much I could do. I am still working on a blanket project as well as um, a sweater project. And I just wanted to show you these two things that I wanted to finish up quickly. And Giz wants to make another appearance. Say hi. Hi. Okay, bye. So the first thing I have is this hat. It's got the braids here. It's got the long ears that nobody can see. <laughs> but as you can see, like it keeps your head very, very warm. Um, it's on the larger side, but I also have a smaller head. So it's got a little heart here and then it has a little uh, breast cancer symbol here. And uh, that's the uh, hat that I finished. And then I finished off these slippers. <laughs> this is difficult. Oh, so sad. So I've got these slippers. I'm going to put a drawstring here. I still haven't done that. But um, yeah, these are going to my daughter. She tried them on and they fit her nicely. There's like extra padding or yarn in the toes so they're extra warm and then extra warmth in the heels as well so they'll keep our feet nice and warm and uh so those are my finished projects uh still working on the daisy blanket so i've got a huge bag <laughs> Woo, they're all falling out of daisies it's a queen size blanket so that's one thing that I'm working on. And then I just came back um, from downtown and I got, yes, two bags of yarn. I know I said I wasn't gonna buy anymore, but I really couldn't pass the deal. I just checked it, I just, I just walked in. There was lots more yarn, okay? But I didn't grab it. It was way too expensive. It was like $8 for a bag this size and it had two skeins in it and I could have got it cheaper at Michael's. Yes, at Michael's. This bag cost me $2. Yarn and the bag for $2. This yarn and this bag for again, $2. So let's go through the blue one. I haven't gone through them. I, I just briefly opened it while I was at the store and touched one of the yarns. Um, I pretty much got it because it had Fentex in it. This is a huge skein of Fentex. This alone would have been $3. So it doesn't have a package or a, like a slip on it, but I know it's Fentex. It's got that fuzzy like material. It's dark blue and a light aqua blue mixed together. So it's very pretty. And then I got this yarn. I don't know what that is. Um, it's on a toilet paper roll, but uh, there's not a lot of it, but it would make nice uh, two rows on uh, my slippers. And I know, I don't know if you can see. There you go. So there's one like tiny little sequin. Yeah, sequin. So there's sequins throughout it. You can see them flickering around in there. Uh, so that was pretty cute. Um, this is just some thicker yarn. Again, it's just a, a really small ball. Uh, I, like I said, I pretty much got it because of the Fentex. So this is, oh, this is that meshy kind of yarn that you would use those, uh, you would make those, um, curly scarves. But again, I use this in my slippers. So there's, uh. A fair amount here just a small hand size uh, and I, I thought this was odd but they threw this in here um, it's tool but uh, funny enough I uh, got some tool off of my friend the other day and I was gonna make pom-pom scrunchies but then because uh, she has just a box of scraps that I had borrowed but this would be perfect for um, dish scrubbies. 
So there's lots on there and I, I could probably get at least one. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I got some black, thick, fuzzy yarn here. Again, perfect for my slippers. Looks like there's another small ball. So that came in there. Oh! There's uh, another little ball of that tool. And then a tiny little ball. Let's see. Um, oh, this is like a, like a deep purple. Can you see that? And it's quite thick. So that'll be nice. Um, this looks to be like Fentex. Oh, looks like two of them are attached together. Um, this will be good for like sewing on the leather bottoms. Because uh, again, I use the Fentex for that. And then another small ball of Fentex. So, I mean, this could make um, a baby pair. And with the other extra that I have, I can maybe make a toddler size. So that was bag number one. And then there was just this little string in there. Um, the second ball, or second bag, sorry, is all the beige tones. That I can open. Let's see what's in this one. So this is a project that somebody was working on. Looks to be knitted. I'm gonna take that apart and use it. Looks like they double stranded their yarn. Let me see if I could just briefly get out these strings. There we go. So that's that. It's just a beige tone, uh, a nice thick, oh, so this looks like two different ones, but this is a really thick thread, and then this is a little bit smaller, but still on the thicker size, side, <laughs> uh, and then just some more of that same yarn there, it focuses sorry about that um and then this looks the same almost all these beiges they all kind of look the same but again another good size ball of yarn uh, this i love i love these kind of colors and tones and mixtures this is like an oatmeal with like little flecks and little fibers of darker browns and blacks so that's really nice um and then i don't know if that's the same project they were working on but there's another panel i can take that apart and use it and then also there's one smaller one uh and then we've got two two balls of it, it's definitely acrylic it doesn't feel wool or anything like that so it's just acrylic yarn um and then there's another small ball of it and then this came in there oh it looks like it's already a pre-made scarf so it's just real tiny just looks like they uh started it and realized that it was going to take more yarn than they expected um I wouldn't even know how to take this apart to use it. Um, honestly, I just got the bag because it was $2. Uh, looks like they just tied it into a knot. If you see little brown spots on my hands, don't panic. Um, I made hot chocolate and didn't realize that my fingers were staying that bad. Oh, look, there we go. So that was actually pretty easy. Kind of. Hang on. Hang on. I'm not lying. <sighs> all right i don't know i'll figure out how to take it apart and if i end up taking it apart i'll let you guys know uh but that came in the bag also so for four dollars it doesn't look like a lot of yarn but it is like i said the one full skein of the 
um, Fentex is worth three, uh, what is it? It's like two fifty three dollars when tax comes. So I think I did pretty good for one skein cost. Basically, um, I've got a handful of yarn. I'll take pictures and show you at the end. So uh, that's my finished project Friday and my little thrift haul. So I just wanted to thank you guys for stopping in and uh, have a great day and have a wonderful afternoon. Bye for now.